Today I'm going to talk about the Pilot Parallel Pen. Uh, it's basically my favorite drawing pen ever made and I'm going to show you some of the ways I like to use it. It's a, actually in reality a calligraphy pen but uh, I find that they're uh, really fun to draw with. Uh, fairly simple operation, has an empty barrel, has a nib section. Uh, comes with a couple different cartridges that you can use. Just load them on like that and roll them, and you're going. Comes with a bunch of uh, other colors available. If that's what you like. Comes in four different sizes. Anywhere from a fairly small nib to a really big fat nib. The ink that comes with them is okay, um, but uh, I found a tutorial online about loading your own ink, and the ink that I like to use most of all is Distress Ink. So I thought I'd give it a whirl and load my own pens up with it. So let's see what kind of lines it makes. Um, I don't actually use it like a calligraphy pen. Uh, I use it more just like a drawing tool and let the pen do what it what it will. Um, but you can get anywhere from a razor sharp line to something a little thicker to something much thicker. But the real charm of these pens is it has a serrated tip. It's kind of hard to see. Um, and it drags along the paper differently depending on uh, the pressure you apply to it. So if you're really kind of loose with it, you can get these really beautiful textural lines. And when you just are kind of randomly drawing with it, it just creates some really nice texture. It's one of the best things I think about the pens. Um, and like I said, I've got a bunch of them loaded up with Distress Ink, so you can add different colors into whatever you're doodling. And some peeled paint. Um, but as you can see, I mean, they're just they're just fun to draw with. Um, you can be very expressive with them. You don't have to be very controlling with them. In fact, if you are kind of controlling with them, they kind of fight you. you just kind of go with it, and uh, you can create some really really beautiful line work. Okay, we have a piece of uh, Canton Montval watercolor paper. Uh, it's inexpensive and uh, works great for me. Um, I'm starting off the skin tone with some rusty hinge. Um, I really like this color for skin tones. It gives a very heavy sort of sun warmth feel. Um, as alternatives, you can use um, sponge sugar or tattered rose as uh, more accurate flesh tones um, but really uh, they're so light in value that they can get washed out um, but uh, as always you know experiment play around getting the face wrapped up here um, stuff like eyebrows I'm using just the very tip of the edge and then with uh, larger areas, I'm using the full pen, just letting it loose. I mean, it does really cool things on its own. Now like there, I'm just using the tip, just adding a little bit of detail. I'm going to switch colors since... Uh, all the flesh is done, and uh, we're going to switch over to frayed burlap for the hair. I'm using a slightly wider pen for this. Um, what's cool about the pen is that uh, with these big sweeping motions, you get this very almost dry brush look. And right there was one of my favorite techniques. Uh, you can, all the ink is still wet, and you can basically. Uh, 
drag one color through another and it'll kind of wick it so you can get these uh, cool gradations of uh, colors and stuff. Okay, that color's done. Got most everything in place. We're going to switch over to Broken China to do the eyes. And with small detail like that, and it's using the very edge of the pen. It's surprising the, the level of detail that you can get with these, despite their broad tips. And if I've used the color a little bit, I like to move it around a bit, include it in some other areas just to sort of balance things so it's not just um, all one color in one spot. Plus, I, I mean, I love, I love the gradations. You can just keep adding different colors to the wet ink. Go around the lips a little bit with some barn door just to kind of accentuate the color. And then finally we're going to use some uh, one of my favorites, finished photo, just to um, dimensionalize things and just bring out the whatever darkest areas that I wanted to enhance. Add a little bit more contrast. adding a little bit of shadow, creating sort of a frame for the face, and do the same thing in the hair. If you add something dark around something light, it will dry your eye to it. And there, that's it. That's all there is to it. Drawing with distress pens. Catch you next time.